Hello guys, today we're going to be watching episode 5 of season 2 of The Legend of Korra and this episode is called Peacekeepers. Thank you guys for being here and I hope you guys enjoy. There's our girl. Welcome home, Avatar. Thanks for starting a war. I didn't start a war! <laughs> Mako, I want you back on the beat. There's going to be a Southern Water Tribe peace march tonight. The people of the South need to see that the Avatar is on their side in the fight against the Northern invaders. Maybe you should sit this out. What? You could at least try to seem neutral. I'm not neutral. The yeah. North invaded my home. This is kind of personal for her. Julie's already scheduled a meeting for us with President Raiko tomorrow. We'll get him on board. And I am dying for a pedicure. <laughs> Say, kid, have you ever seen Republic City at night? Sure, I live here. Have you really seen it? What are you getting our pure and innocent Bolin into? How can the rebels are holed up here in the hills outside of town? Leave them. Increase security around the spirit portal. Yeah, we don't know what their plans with the spirit portal are. I mean, I can guess. Oh. <laughs> she was all ready for her wedding. I'll find her. She stole my husband. I need her alive. Well, the hunt for the Avatar is back on. This seems very familiar. Find the Avatar. Find him now. Wall over. No, no, you can't just demonstrate it. That never works. It's going to work. Good. Well, he's just sleeping. Ugh, classic over-rewarding. Pokey, where are you going? Command respect. How would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? Yeah! There's a lot of Tensions people here. Are running high. The Avatar is leading a group of Southerners. <sighs> a yeah, she is not, is not presenting as neutral at all. I mean, I understand, though. Get a real job. Get a real job. Wow. If I had a nickel for every time someone commented that to me, <laughs> like, and I read it while I'm at work. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know why people think that YouTubers, like anybody who makes a video on YouTube is just like making a bunch of money and not, not working. Stop! I Republic wish. City Police! Ooh, terrorism. This is fighting fire with fire, yeah? Is that this, the Southern Cultural Center that they just blew up, I'm guessing? Mako looks really good in his uniform. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. The North might not be responsible for this. Of course they're responsible. Hmm. Might not be as uh, black and white or obvious as, as it first uh, appeared that it was going to be. Usually, when I see flashing lights like this, it's because I got hit in the head with a rock. <laughs> Ooh, what are we attending? It's Bolin! Of course. Let's see if we can get a quick interview. Bolin, how have you been spending your time lately? Well, I took a trip south, was briefly engaged to a princess, was accidentally involved in a civil war. But there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City! <laughs> nice recovery. Do you miss being in the ring? Well, you know, sometimes I actually cry myself to sleep. I guess what I miss the most are these fans! Give it up for the fans! <laughs> Look how these people love you, kid. The trick is, I just say, Republic City, or fans, and then everyone cheers. Seems to work. I think I just figured out your true calling. Oh? Oh? I hope President Raiko listens to us. Don't worry. I was a big contributor to his election campaign. Him and the other guy got to hedge your bets. <laughs> The Southern Water Tribe? Just a second. Eh. Unalak's troops have invaded the South. We need you to send the United Forces to help. But I don't think it's the Republic's place to interfere with internal Water Tribe matters. Now, I know that when you're young, it's hard to keep perspective. You're the one who's lost perspective. Now, I'm sorry, but my mind is made up. My family is going to be wiped out, and it'll be on your head for doing nothing about it. As fiery and spunky as ever. But not knowing much about this guy, 
He does have to be careful. You can't just tell his people to go fight a battle at the South Pole that has nothing to do with yeah. them. Yeah. How could you take his side? I'm doing my job. Well, excuse me, officer. I'm just trying to save the world. Well, you wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. Oh. I can't talk to you when you're like this. You're the one who's like this. <laughs> oh, what? What is? What is all this? It's just Varric. Okay. Oh, blindfolded. Oh, hello. That's a good See, idea. I told you I could do it. We need those troops now, and my company is about to go under. Got it. Idea storm. Brain work requires increased circulation. Let's do this! <laughs> He's insane. Okay, here come the ideas. Fast and furious. Radio for pets. Uh, hand shoes. Hand shoes? Hold on a tick. We just need the troops. Let's go straight to them. I know General Iroh. He might be General Iroh. Us. And you need to sell some mecha tanks. We'll ship them south. That's perfect. It'll be crazy risky. But I love crazy risky. This guy's crazy in the best way possible. As soon as people see this, they'll be lining up to fight Unalak. Don't freak out. It's not real. <laughs> Sorry. Keep doing that. <laughs> the adventures of Nuktuk, hero of the South. He's going to make him a... Okay. This is going to be hilarious. And you should have seen Varric today to get General Iroh to fight Unalak without President Raiko ever even knowing. What? That's a terrible idea. And he's going to put me in the movers as this hero, Nuktuk. So he's a propaganda actor? Something doesn't make sense about this bombing. Wait a second. That's him. That's the guy that attacked the center. Nuktuk saves the day again. The first thing you need to do as a trainer is establish dominance. Pokey, come here. <laughs> Pokey, no! <laughs> You're rewarding him for bad behavior. Aw, oh, they're so cute. You can't let him nap in the bed with you. He has to sleep on the floor. Aw, Pokey. But it's for the best. No, Pokey, this is my bed. Is this, like, totally not gonna work? And... Dean Alpha Lemur is lonely. Aw. And Tenzin's gonna realize that maybe he was wasn't using the right approach with Korra or something? I got a break in the bombing case. That's great, Mako. Mako? Yeah, you better run that into Beifong right now. You're gonna be a hero. That was weird. What are they? Think he can interrupt my meeting with a president. Oh, that's mean. This is the guy I saw sneaking out of the building right before the explosions. He's a member of the Agni Kais. Oh, them again. Hmm. Listen, kid, it was a northern water tribe, okay? And you're dating the Avatar, right? You wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting anything that might compromise the security of Republic City. Let me remind you that you've sworn an oath. <sighs> Wait. Oh. There's something you should know. Oh. I didn't think he was actually going to say anything. I thought maybe later, but not now. What can I do? The South needs military support, but the president is refusing to give the order. I see. Suppose I were to take the fleet south on some routine training maneuvers. And let's say we were to accidentally run into a hostile northern blockade. Thank you. Swapping old war stories. <sighs> As if a single vessel leaves this harbor without my say-so, you'll be court-martialed. Your activities here are bordering on insurrection. Don't go behind my back again. I hate that guy. I'm sorry. My hands are officially tied. But you should talk to the Fire Lord. My mother and grandfather have always been good friends to the Avatar and the Southern Water Tribe. Thank you, General. What is this? Ooh. Hey, Ginger. Where are you going? The Fire Nation. I need a boat. What happened with General Iroh? Someone must have tipped him off. No one knew about it except for us and Asami. And Mako. Mako? Lynn, your loud mouth! Oh my god, he just, he's the worst. Do not say any Pokey secret around shit. him, ever. Roll over. I knew you could learn to train Pokey. Not just Pokey, I train all the lemurs. What in the, whoa! We can use them against the Northern Water Tribe. <laughs> we have a lemur army! 
What the heck? This kid is this genius. I created a monster. <laughs> Why don't you and Pokey just have fun and play? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Whoa. You betrayed me and my family. Jeez, she's out of control. Look, I have a job to do. Well, I have a job to do too, only it seems like you're always oh, standing that's in the way. It. They're breaking up. Well, I guess if we're both putting our jobs first, maybe there's no room for our relationship. Are you breaking up with me? I guess I am. Everyone's watching like shit. I broke up with the Avatar. You got off easy. You should have seen Air Temple Island after Tenzin broke up with me. <laughs> what? I must know more. So she's trying to go to the fire. Oh, it's these guys. You ruined my wedding! They're so cool. What is that? A spirit? A fish? Whoa! That's a nasty looking spirit right there. Ooh. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, she's gonna try to calm it. It's working. It's not working. And now she's eaten. And the episode ends. Wow. Okay, we have very high tensions and I'm trying to stay on Korra's side, but ever since the first season, I've been having difficulties being 100% on board with some of her decisions and some of the things that she says. And yeah, she's, she's just tough. Um, she's very defensive with Mako. She's just always on edge. She always thinks he's against her. But I guess, like, her own parents lied to her. She had that falling out with Tenzin. Unalak betrayed her. I can see why she would have trouble trusting. But Mako's done nothing wrong. Although I was a little bit surprised that he did tell the president. I don't like to see them fighting, but I feel like they've been doing nothing but fighting for this whole season. And I just hope that there's a really satisfying like resolution to that because it's, it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> and the situation with the Northern and Southern Water Tribe is very tricky because it's not as easy as just Northern bad, Southern good, everybody come help us. It's politics. It's getting involved in a kind of like private war. And I can see why the president would hesitate to get involved and would not want to get involved. I guess we'll have to wait till the next episode to see exactly how Korra is going to get out of her current predicament. And when she gets to the Fire Nation, that's going to be really exciting. I can't wait to go there and to see whoever we're going to see. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the comments and I'll see you next time.